So welcome you all in Ask Me Anything session on power sector announcement which last week we did that we'll do a Telegram live session. So I'll talk briefly about why power sector is important and what I have thought of about this sector because uh, my experience uh, in this sector as a as a professional is also there and as an investor I'm also invested and uh, I have time to time shared some of the, uh, my bets on YouTube and uh, to a closer community of Sadhan. So some of the stocks name you know, I'll, I'll talk briefly about them. And then about the power sector and, and is it a decadal theme or is it a one year thing or how we are placed. So those things will be covered. So power sector is as we know is a sector which is basically is becoming a unit of uh, India's growth because sometimes back when I was uh, doing a podcast on data center then the underlying thing is still power because now what is happening just to have this broader view in 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 a perspective that data center is a new unit of compute this is spoken by Nvidia's CEO since data center is becoming a unit and data center itself is a like one data center one megawatt is like 40 crore property so a 40 crore property is becoming a unit of a compute and behind that is power sector so this data center industry itself is becoming a unit and uske piche ye power sector hai to unit ke bhi piche hai. so we are bringing power sector at, at a microscopic level so it is, is become more and more important so as a uh, there is a effect called lindy effect which says ki jo pichle 50 saal ke jiske history hai agar achhi se achhi history hai to uske 50 saal bhi achhe honge so power sector is kind of fitting the uh, bill in terms of that definition that it is becoming more and more important so why power sector is uh, is a decadal theme so to speak one is that new drivers of demand are coming like ev is a demand driver uh, this data center is a demand driver and gdp growth which is a traditional lever for india that india's gdp is growing at seven plus percent so industrial growth is required and industry will grow cannot grow without power just to para, just to summarize i mean 15 20 years back when i when i first happened to work in in pune which is an industrialized city when i worked there at tata motors plant then i learned the importance of power that it you will be surprised to know that in tata motors which is a, such a big company they should have their choice to to choose holidays like sunday which is a basic right but wahan pe sunday nahi hota wahan pe thursday hota hai and you know why thursday because agar sunday ko agar tata motors bhi band ho jaye to us din ka power idol aa jayegi aur thursday ko chutti rakhne ka purpose ye tha ki us din sabko barabar power mile to pune pimpri chinchwar jaisa jo municipality hai usne thursday ko bola tha ki aap thursday ko cut lo chutti lo plant mein because otherwise we will not be able to give you power so a big company like tata motors and other companies around around the city they followed this trajectory so that is the power of a power industry and that's why Maharashtra has become such a successful state because they had in early stage they had good uh, distribution good, good power companies uh, beneath their boundaries and unka power ka system thoda sa sahi tha when, when country was becoming industrialized but later on power is a crisis word for there abhi wahan Pune mein shutdown hote hai. last uh, two years back there was a severe shutdown in Pune and all this Mumbai also was struggling and that's why they are losing the main spot to let's say Gujarat or to southern states so power is so important with this example you should also understand that when uh, power sector may th things are not uh, a global level pe cheez hoti hai ki upar se sara same dikhta hai but power sector ko whenever we are studying we should look at from a state point of view because as i said with ki maharashtra mein sirf thursday ko chutti hoti hai because there is a power problem uh, maharashtra matlab wo pune aur wo wale pimpri jo industrial area mein so it's a regional subject also so why power is complex because there are one law which is federal law and there are 25 different lawmakers who make state wise law so power is that's why nuance sector so every beautiful thing comes with a nuance comes with a complexity and that's the complexity of power sector so that's why it's not very easy to make money because you cannot scuttle through the difference between these two demons one is a state one is a center so that and that's why it becomes very important to understand the regulatory setup when we get into power. Today I am not going to tell you much about power because we are going to have a, a definite session with a power sector expert in one two weeks. Loosely, I'll just 
set up the layout so that you can also start learning about this this sector and uh, can benefit out of it electricity hum tak aati hai to wo teen levels pe aati hai one is generation then second is transmission and third is distribution so generation mein ye jo sari uh, abhi jo hum theme dekh rahe hain in short jo bahut sari stocks jo hai kafi tezi se badh rahe hain wo kahi na kahi solar generation side se aa rahi hai solar power hai even ntpcs which were kind of doubled i am i am not tracking ntpc but wo bhi kafi acha kar rahi hai and somebody who is good in hydro power for example tata power who are good in thermal hydro and solar they all are doing go- good some innovative company like jsw energy who are also into pumped hydro storage thermal and renewable is their pick so ye is tarike ki company acha kar rahi hai because india is growing because jo unviable projects the wo viable ho gaye hain import karke bhi aap गैस बेस्ड पावर डाल सकते हो तो किसी ने अगर पास्ट सेंड किए थे जिनके पास इंपोर्ट बेस्ड प्लान था जो चल नहीं रहा था अभी वो उसको रिवाइव करने के लिए गवर्नमेंट इंसेंटिवाइज कर रही है सो जनरेशन साइज में देयर इज अ बुल रन फॉर पावर बट वेयर द एक्चुअल मनी इज पर्सनली आई फील दैट जनरेशन तो है ही जनरेशन में देर आर सम प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व बिकॉज जनरेशन इज द फोर हैज ऑलवेज बिन अ कैपिटल इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्री तो जनरेशन में कुछ गलतियाँ भी होती हैं प्रोमोटर्स ने गलतियाँ भी की है बहुत सारे तो उसके कारण वहाँ पे इट्स नॉट इजी पिक बिकॉज वहाँ पे यू विल सी कंपनीज लाइक रतन पावर आल्सो हु हैज डन पास मिस्टेक्स पास सेंस एंड लिस टाटा पावर हु हैव नॉट डन मच मिस्टेक्स एक्सेप्ट वन सीजी पावर सीजीपीएल बट वो बड़ी मिस्टेक भी उन ने भी उसको बहुत सालों तक ड्रैक किया था मतलब वन जो उन्होंने मुंद्रा में जो यू बनाया था जो डेढ़ रुपये के कॉस्ट पे वो बहुत सालों तक उसने उसको ड्रैक करके रखा रखा हंड्रेड से नीचे ही रखा स्टॉक प्राइस को और जब उसको जब बुलिशनेस आई है पोस्ट कोविड जो रिबाउंड हुआ उसके बाद फिर टाटा पावर हैज बिकम टू एक्स आई पर्सनली बॉट एट हंड्रेड एंड सोल्ड एट टू फिफ्टी देन वन ईयर इट वाज अ साइड स्टेपिंग तब तक मैं उसमें नहीं था फिर वापस जब टू से इसने ब्रेकआउट दिया और फोर के रेंज में आया तो फिर आई एम ऑल्सो देर टू फिफ्टी थ्री हंड्रेड मैंने फिर खरीदा और अभी तो जनरेशन इज नॉट समथिंग विच I'm really um, very active, very alert. उसमें थोड़ा alertness चाहिए होता है मतलब somehow. मतलब generation का उतना अच्छा मतलब it's not the best segment to go about. That's my feeling is the best segment to go about is neither generation nor the distribution side. Distribution is actually worse. वहाँ पे आप screen पे भी देख सकते हैं distribution में क्या होता है जहाँ पे demand है वहाँ पे distribution करना होता है तो वहाँ पे आपके transformer makers होते हैं जिस AC को step down करते हैं और उसको फिर एनर्जी इंटेंसिव इंडस्ट्रीज को देते हैं बाकी इंडस्ट्रीज को दे देते हैं और फिर ई वी चार्जिंग एंड ऑल दोज आर न्यू यूज केसेस हाउस होल्ड को देते हैं सो बेसिकली हाउस होल्ड एंड इंडस्ट्री दिस हैज बिन द मेन ड्राइवर ऑफ दिस डिमांड सो इंडस्ट्री से पैसे लेना तो चलो आसान है यू कैन डिक्टेट द टर्म्स बिकॉज दे आर आफ्टर ऑल दे आर बिजनेसिस दे अंडरस्टैंड द यूनिट इकोनॉमिक्स बट हाउस होल्ड में इट्स डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कंपनी के लिए जो अभी तक जो सेटअप था एस का जो स्टेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बोर्ड थी उनके जो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डिपार्टमेंट थे वहाँ पे कलेक्शन एज ऑल इज बीन अ चैलेंज बिकॉज हाउस होल्ड डजेंट वॉन्ट टू पे हाई फॉर बिल्स बट धीरे धीरे चीज़ें स्ट्रीम हो रही हैं बट स्टिल लॉन्ग वे टू गो दिस इज देर हैज़ बिन अस्ट्री ऑफ कंपनी नॉट एबल टू मेक मनी तो वहाँ पर बहुत सारी अच्छी कंपनी जा ही नहीं रही हैं एक्चुअली उनको भी हिस्टोरिकल ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड देखना पड़ेगा ना कि वहाँ पे पैसे बन रहे हैं या नहीं बन रहे सो समबडीज आर एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग लाइक टाटा पावर हैज एक्सपेरिमेंटेड विथ दे हैव डन अ बैक टेस्ट इन इन मुंबई एंड डेली एंड मुंबई एंड थ्रू एन डी पी एल एंड मुंबई एंड डेली एंड नाउ दे आर एक्सपेंडिंग टू दे आर गेटिंग लिटल मोर अग्रेसिव बाई अक्वायरिंग द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइसेंस इन ओडिशा दर आर कंपनीज लाइक टॉरेंट पावर हु हैज बर्न दियर हैंड इन पास साइकिल वो लोग फिर एग्रेसिव हो रहे हैं मतलब उनको लर्निंग साइकिल लर्निंग का काइंड ऑफ कंप्लीटेड है ये सब कंपनियां ऑपरेट कर रही हैं बट यू विल नॉट सी मेनी गुड कंपनीज जैसे जे एस डब्ल्यू एनर्जी गेटिंग इन टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वहाँ पे सी एस सी मिलेगी आपको जो संजीव गोयन का ग्रुप है जिसने इसको मास्टर किया हुआ है इन द सेंस दैट दे नो कैलकाटा वेरी वेल कैलकाटा का पावर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मैनेज करते सो इस अनदर वर्ल्ड आउट देयर विच इज ऑन द डिमांड साइड विच इज ऑन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन साइज एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट प्लेस वेयर यू कैन मेक मनी बट द स्वीट स्पॉट लाइज इन द मिडल द गोल्ड इन मिडल एज ग्रेट गोधा एज सेट द गोल्ड इन मीज मीन फॉर मी इज द ग्रेट पार्ट द ट्रांसमिशन पार्ट वेर यू आर काइंड ऑफ ब्रिजिंग द गैप सो ऐसे भी बॉर एंड परफेक्ट को मैंने जब शुरुआत में पढ़ना शुरू किया था देन दे वॉज अट इज अब पॉपुलर नहीं वो थीम बट 
back in 2016 there was a very popular analogy which i used to read about is called the toll booth analogy when buffett says that ki don't invest into to a business who takes market risk or jahan pe market risk hai to market mein strong power hona chahiye uska jaise coca cola hai who can increase the prices and all but if you have to take a bet then uh, you have to find a company jahan pe people will pay you per transaction matlab jaise road sector hai road mein aap toll kab jab bhi aap gaadi se cross karte ho toll plaza you automatically your money get deducted so tolling booth jo hai wo best business model hota hai so ye agar power sector mein bole to tolling booth kya hai transmission powers transmission setups so ye tolling booth hai matlab power kahin bhi bane aur uh, demand kahin bhi ho inko aap toll de kar ke jaoge so grid is the most powerful segment uh, in power sector for a stock picker that's my personal bet and i have picked up something like silchar into who are into transmission and uh, there are a couple of more companies who has done well for us like forex we have made in silchar we made forex into uh, advait infotech which is also into related to transmission so abhi story play out honi shuru hi hui hai and we have seen the huge winners into transmission वैसे तो टाटा पावर भी हुआ है फॉरेक्स बट 100 टू 400 गया है बट इसका बेस काफी बड़ा था मतलब टाटा पावर तो बहुत सालों से पांच सालों से 70 से 100 के 100 से कम पे था आई डोंट रिमेम्बर द चार्ट बट उनका लॉन्ग बेस था तो उनको करना था बट दीज कंपनीज वर लाइक दे वर स्मॉल कैप एंड दे डिड वेल सो ऑब्वियसली यू नो दैट मिड कैप एंड स्मॉल कैप गिव्स बेटर रिटर्न इफ यू फाइंड समथिंग देयर सो वहां पे आपको अंडर रिसर्च है सो वी काइंड ऑफ वी आर हैप्पी टू लुक इनटू जनरेशन साइड एज़ वेल बट आवर स्वीट स्पॉट इज लाइज इन टू ट्रांसमिशन सेक्टर अब हम लोगों ने एक नया चैनल मेंबरशिप स्टार्ट किया है बताना चाहूंगा कि ये दो तरीके के मेंबरशिप होंगे पहला होगा साधन प्रो एंड सेकंड इज साधन प्राइम एक वीडियो होंगे हर एक महीने में एंड मेंबर्स ओनली वीडियो जो होंगे वो डीप एनालिसिस पेस्ट होंगे उस पर हम लोग जो रिसर्च करते हैं वो आपके साथ शेयर करेंगे और बहुत बार जो एनालिसिस होगी वो मेरे पोर्टफोलियो से रिलेटेड स्टॉक्स के बारे में हो सकती है एंड दिस वुड बी फॉर लर्निंग पर्पस ऑनली और साथ ही साथ उसके अलावा मंथ में चार कम्युनिटी पोस्ट होंगे जो कि काफी एक्शन ओरिएंटेड होंगे अब बात करते हैं साधन प्राइम की तो जो साधन प्रो में जो बेनिफिट मैंने बताए वो सारे इसमें इंक्लूडेड हैं इनके अलावा इसमें एक एडिशनल लाइव स्ट्रीम होगा जो कि मेंबर्स ओनली लाइव स्ट्रीम होगा उसमें यू कैन आस्क मी एनीथिंग एंड ये एम एस आस्क मी एनीथिंग सेशन होगा हमारे बीच इस इस एम सेशन के थ्रू आप मेरे से जो भी डाउट है वो पूछ सकते हैं और टू द लिमिटेड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आउट हेयर मैं उसको आंसर करने की कोशिश करूंगा बट इस लाइव स्ट्रीम के थ्रू साधन कम्युनिटी डेवलप होगी और वी विल ग्रो टूगेदर in this investing world the idea is to educate more and more in a shorter format which is monthly membership so membership ko join karne ke liye aapko subscribe ka icon hai uske bagal mein join ka option mil raha hai aap wahan ja kar ke join pe click karenge you will get the options as sadhan pro and number two option would be sadhan and then i'll come about i'll talk to you about something which we have already shared with you which is sadhan practitioner membership which is there on my uh, learning management system which is learn.amitabhatsya.com there you will get a two member exclusive seminars per month which will be talking about what i bought and what are my investment thesis there there i'll talk about what has happened over the month in a monthly letter across my two strategies which is multi bagger project and uh, alpha accelerator so alpha accelerator is a, is a strategy where i invest on a short term basis jahan pe ki quicker returns in terms of uh, results because it's a result oriented company jahan pe hame earning surprise expected hai to earning surprise led growth wahan pe uh, stories hame milte hai actually kya hota hai ki bahut sari companies jo hai jo multi year breakout pe aati hai wo agar wo earning surprise de rahi ho to they become multi bagger very quickly but i have a separate multi bagger project jahan pe main bottom up research karta hu usme earning surprise is not a criteria usme bottom up the management should be good the industry should be good unit economics should be good in terms of the classical warren buffett or or charlie munger setup that kind of stocks are there in multi bagger project and alpha accelerator is totally a quant driven strategy quant is not the technical indicator it is more of a fundamental indicators which i choose to follow which will help me find earning surprise and i layer it with with my sectoral knowledge i talk to industry people and then i uh, kind of pick those uh, stocks then uh, my investment thesis would be shared uh, on the learning management system for for the practitioner members so this is additional uh, in a way and uh, they there is there are two telegram uh, channel and there is a separate telegram discussion channel where 
people can ask me questions and i get time i try to reply them within 24 hours 48 hours i reply uh, if there is a something which can be replied over a, a chat message so i try to do that so it's a kind of a parallel question and answer session chalta rehta hai wahan pe somebody have a good question he'll get a good answer that's the promise i do there in this uh, telegram discussion channel and on top of it many people out there who have a good industry knowledge they share their insights there and if i have to know something about let's say power sector then i'll ask something a direct question to if somebody has worked in let's say nhpc or tata power so then somebody in the network can give an input that okay this is uh, he has or his uh, his friend has so that's how we consolidate on our knowledge which is a community knowledge and we try to build upon it so it's a bottom up thing which we do with the members so this is the core community which is sadhan practitioner membership something for a long term investor which is sadhan mentorship program somebody who wants to learn for making out big in, in the long term how to do investment is what i have learned over last 10 years by reading to warren buffett charlie munger and phil fishers of the world and i applied it in india since 2015 to 2024 so 9 years of applications and 5 years of deep learning as well as 10 12 years of experience into market particularly into financial market i worked in thc bank and lnt infrastructure finance and tata motors so i have those industrial angle to it so that helps me deriving something good at a business fundamental level and at financial analyst level that's i try to impart with in the form of a investment framework around 25 plus live classes over weekend ke through main usme batata hu ki kya hai investing is an art or science or how to go about it so i share my excels jo ki kaam bilkul hi aasan kar dete hai aapka 5 minute mein aapki analysis ho jati hai mode calculator 2 minute mein kaam karta hai sadan roic shift framework is also advanced tool which helps you gain ki company kahan ja rahi hai directionally these are the tools which help somebody make wiser decisions so, and i also share recorded videos and complete access of learning management system so obviously many things which i keep dabbling into i keep sharing there and they also help me in research also some some more of a assignment based classroom also so i keep asking them questions what you learned what did, you did not and engage with the content which i share there and i share everything which i learned in last 10 years so that people can develop their sustainable investment framework so that's the overall uh, on my bouquet and that's what i wanted to share out with you quickly power sector may now questions come that for a data center perspective what is important is uh, the continuation of power and there are good buyers of power so one thing is good for overall power sector is now the counter party would be let's say Amazon or Microsoft and all who are like triple A absolute triple A kind of uh, counterparties. So sure. the credit counterparty uh, issues, jo, jo, which was the prominent, which has been we have faced uh, as a power sector person that counterparty was like at best it was triple triple B. Gujarat was rated A minus five years back. That was the best rating, but now we have triple A counterparties. So that is one thing. So so it kind of increases the generation side because generation side was stuck with receivable. So the main problem of generation side was receivable. So that would get reduced. So generation would also benefit. But hidden beneficiaries are actually the the transmission guys because when you are setting up a, a data center, then at that time you are using your medium voltage equipments. so somebody who is present in this value chain as a transformer maker or uh, or somebody who is uh, doing ais and gis and all so who has done this transmission bit more closely with there will be no dearth of orders for for them to give supply to power to data centers and for example some backup is also there so cumins and all they will supply for for as a backup of of this power hungry data centers if you ask me to bifurcate between private and public then uh, the public sectors would more focused on the thermal side and private sector so to say is the front in in a renewable side so the current bullishness is there is much much more in in a private sector some of them i mean i'm not saying that this bullishness is not is unwarranted there is some uh, since it is going to remain for some time so some bullishness is expected and it has kind of cross the line maybe to certain extent but that bullishness is there that will remain for some time is it a good time to get into a, a private generation company who is into renewable for say or who is into this value chain of of supply of uh, pv module or cell and all you have to see this in at in, in light of uh, the 
broader theme of uh, the global supply chain china may there is a oversupply of module and uh, cell and all although we are trying to protect indian industries but i think this flip flop keep happening between that that support comes and goes and comes and goes so the multiple which they are commanding is as if they will continue for 10 years or 5 years of government of india backing up entities as a backstop that no will protect protect you from china which i don't think is not a reality is it will remain for 6 months and then the government will itself flip flip flop to the other extreme because ultimately we need cheap power as a power hungry economy we want power to be cheaper and if chinese uh, modules comes into in india by a hidden route by not so legitimate route even though india will not push uh, to stop that so that leakage will remain and that's why the valuations which at which these these beneficiaries are trading is not sustainable in my view so that's on the private side on the psu side of the thing are uh, conservative in a sense that not that high price i'm i'm not tracked really any power psus but uh, i think the valuation comfort is relatively there i have not seen the valuation also i cannot say, comment on it but structurally they are a good bet uh, in terms of or for a long term investor it's still a good bet uh, that getting into psu public psus thank you uh, thank you very much uh, amitabh ji uh, there is another question that i have do you think the thermal is still going to be more uh, on the other uh, upside is going to be on the thermal power generation as well companies if we talk about ntpc for example so ntpc got a mandate right. not just one uh, one month back but since last one year itself if you read their annual report of 23 itself they have said that they will be getting into thermal power again although they have a mandate to get into renewable even all the psu like ongcs who are like uh, the big shots of oil and gas they are told to get into renewable energy they have to set up something on to renewable and gale already has been doing it so so renewable mm-hmm. is a thrust for from psu also and uh, for for thermal power play thermal player like like uh, thermal or hydro players uh, so hydro players are choosing to go to other uh, renewable like sjvn and all are getting into renewable or nhpcs has also got some mandate to go, go into renewable so all are pushed towards renewable because uh, because the demand which we see is not going to be catered by private entities only uh, and the cash rich psus who who cannot uh, go and multiply their thermal assets uh, are pushed towards renewable but for a time being they are uh, told to do some some sort of let's say i don't know the percentage but maybe if they have 100 they they are uh, told that let's do five five more so if you have uh, walked uh, mm-hmm. if you have made 100 then four five kind of is the guidance for for them to uh, expand into thermal because thermal is required as a uh because we are we want around the clock power and around the clock power is not feasible with renewable without the battery uh, support and battery is not an india thing battery ecosystem is yet to evolve in india and we are talking about make in india so it is uh, for a ministry of power it is a, a quandary whether how how to provide around the clock power for industrial growth uh without using the chinese supply chain of batteries so for that you have to fall back to the thermal and that's why thermal is a necessity and it's a necessary evil although uh, just to counteract uh, having said that there are big challenges for ntpc to raise money for their thermal product projects because on one side all the psus banks also they have said that will not fund thermal also they have taken a policy decision of their own in order to raise funding from market because they want to be esg compliant and they want to be green and all so many banks have committed that they will not fund thermal so this is a conundrum for ntpc for ntpc is having challenge for raising thermal power plant they will but some challenges are still faced so so there are uh, thermal is on the back foot definitely currently it looks strong uh, for a temporary uh, on a temporary basis on a short term basis but not on the medium term or long term basis not bullish on thermal in general uh, speaking